Thank you. Hello! Hi! <laughs> we did it! I'm fixing my hairs. We, she just got here. She got stuck in Hollywood Bowl yeah. traffic. What are people thinking wanting to go to the Hollywood Bowl to see shows when I have to get someplace? To talk to Belle. Yeah, Belle is waiting, people. Had to explain it to her very thing. I know. <laughs> you don't want to get on Belle's bad side. Ooh, <laughs> scary. <laughs> Thank you all for tuning in. Yay! Uh, yay! This is the star. We have to start yeah, with her. This is the star. Belle, the 103-year-old. Haunted doll, fabulously haunted, a good haunted doll. Yes. I am Patty Negri. And I'm Sheena Metal, and this is Belle's Bear Frederick. Yes. And That's what's right. this? This is Frederick. I, I can't remember the other one's name. Isn't it Boo Bear or something? Boo, oh yeah, Boo Bear. Yo, that, oh yeah, this is Boo Bear. No, oh, no, this that's is Boo Bear. Bear. That's this is Frederick. Frederick. I would Bell told us his name was Frederick. Yes, Boo Bear. Boo Bear. And this you got to learn the cast of characters, folks. You got yeah. Boo Bear. <laughs> you got Frederick. You got Bell. You got Patty and Sheena. Sheena. And um, yeah, Sheena's been uh, not Sheena. Sorry, I haven't even seen Sheena. I, this I is know. my old home. I saw you for five minutes at your dog's birthday yeah, party. That, that's, yeah, that's a real thing, folks. Welcome to LA. <laughs> Everybody has a birthday. Hey. You have to have a party. All dogs have birthday parties. Exactly. Here. Wait till we have she a bell yeah, party. Been, well, Why, I know. March. I gotta keep. Yes. Um, so a bell's been um, a little antsy because she has not got the attention she wanted oh, lately. No. Sheena hasn't been here. Yeah. I've been really busy. I've been, I've been, really been busy. traveling a little bit. We've both been busy. Yeah. And she didn't like it. Yeah. Um, what did she do? Set the house on fire? <laughs> no, no, but. Make but a black mist appear everywhere? Every, every once in a while. Ectoplasmum she does on the she, dining room table? One thing I think she does do is make Dora bark a lot. Yeah. When, when Sheena... Why do I yeah. keep calling her Sheena? When Sheena's <laughs> agitated. When <laughs> Belle... How do you think Belle and I are the same person? I, you have become the same person. I'm not 103 yet, folks. No. Hi, everybody. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Annette. Um, well, you know it's because she whispers Dora's name all the time. Dora. 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 And so Dora, Dora. barks. And again, when... Belle is agitated. She agitated Dora a little bit more. And we had a little agitation around the uh -oh. house the other day. Um, I have, you know, we specialize in good haunted objects. Yes. I were, I'm an expert in both. We both are paranormal investigators. Right. But this whole purpose of living with the dead. Yes. Sheena has a fabulous YouTube page. We have a Facebook yes. page, Living with the Dead. Is about that, plus, they, they always get a bad rap that haunted objects are always evil or demonic, which yeah. is not true. Again, speaking for Belle, she's a positive little thing and sweet as pie, and now she doesn't possess anybody. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, big but, I had an object here um, for a couple of years. It was given to me by a dear friend and also client who was too much for him to handle. It was a voodoo Whoa. thing. And oh, I figured I could hard. kind of handle that. But it was a voodoo thing. I had it down in my office. I wasn't going to put it up here in the living room where I work with clients and, Smart. and the people are. But it's been down there. What and kind was, of a voodoo thing was it, Patty? Well, I, I will explain in a okay. second. I just thought it had that like voodoo thing. It was almost on a cross. It had a bunch of evil nails in it. It had all the shells. It was pretty scary looking. Was it like an effigy of a person? Well, there was a couple of different statues on it. Oh. I, I, it was a couple of different statues. they all had nails in them? And they all had nails. Really bad nails. Oh. And for a couple years, okay, it was handy because she was surrounded by Barbie dolls. Very protective Barbie dolls. Remember, I'm a doll girl. Right. And doing okay. But the last month or so, I realized I can't stand in my office. I would be bringing my computer upstairs and working up here. I'd be pacing. I'd be going up side my desk was piling up more than usual with stuff and stuff i couldn't put things away and i'm like what is it what is it and it hit me this thing has to i couldn't control it anymore i absolutely could not control it anymore so i called up zach bagans because <laughs> you know really what are you going to do with yeah, a really horrible evil thing yeah and i showed it to him he goes mm, that's a uh a, a nail god hate hate god it's a Voodoo na nail hate god. I forget the world. But he's, he'll gladly take it. Sure. <laughs> um, he said, that's really, really evil. I, I actually recently, um, they did a, an episode at Ripley's Believe It or Not, which I actually told them about. My friend Corey Dacey actually is the manager there. And they talked about these evil nail god, hate gods. Um, 
Um, but I, they didn't look like mine, and I didn't put it together that this was full of these rusty nails. So he named it right immediately. I packed her it, whatever, up really good, and I, I was in Vegas this weekend anyway, so I got it to the museum, and now it's already causing havoc at his museum. Oh, uh-oh. Yeah. But again, uh -oh. he knows how to handle it. He's got it real warded. Yeah. That people go there for this shit. <laughs> So, yeah. so it's really good. So, but yes, the second we brought her in, she was starting to cause havoc. I just did uh, two hours today with my buddy John Zaffis from Hunter oh, Collector. Oh, I love him. I, I love him know so him, much. But I love and him. I always think if anything ever gets hinky, it's going to John. Oh, that's good. He knows how to take care of it. He knows how to take care of it. Yeah, that's right. He collects stuff too, doesn't he? Yes, it? Yeah. he's got a huge collection because his nephew, uh, he's the nephew of Ed Warren. Wow. That's so wild. I had Ed and Lorraine Lauren, Warren. So I have um, my my great my grandparents met um, when they both drove ambulances in World War II in Europe. World War One in Europe. Hello. Somebody's a little out of it today. My mother's adopted parents met in World War I uh, driving for the Red Cross in Europe. And they had brought home these copper shells, like mortar shells. Mm. And my mom had them and they were beautiful. And at one point I went to this big copper phase and I said to my mom, where are those shells? Because if because she was in this phase when she got older where she was like, anything you want, just take it. I'll be yeah. dead someday. Just take it. And I said, what happened to those copper shells? Because I love copper and I'd love to have them. She said, oh my God, I sold them at a garage sale years ago. Like, I'm sad I didn't notice. And I said, really? Why? I love them. And she said, oh honey, you didn't want those in your house. They felt like death. She said, one day I suddenly just couldn't stand them in the house anymore and they had to go. I, and, and the part of that is copper. Copper is a conduit. I love copper, I love copper too. And it's used in magic. You mm. could use it on wands and all sorts of magical wand. things. I have a copper wand. I love it so yeah. much, my copper wand. Everybody should get one. But when I went to Butte, Montana this past year to see why there was so much kind of dark stuff going on, the first thing that hit me was it's it's surrounded by hills with copper in it. Mm. And it's a conduit. It's an enhancer. So Also, Butte's had a whole history of unhappiness oh, with the, Butte, yeah. the mines and... The horrible oh, tunnel Butte has mines. had a lot of trouble. Yeah, yeah, and they're like the suicide capital. So it was yeah. really great working with them. I hope to go out again this year, too. I've never so. been to Butte. I had never been. I mean, no, I mean a lot of people can say that they've never been to Butte. Yeah. It's very little. But it's old west. I mean, it is yeah. old west town. Yeah, I it love is. that. I totally want to go. Yeah, so we'll we'll bring we'll to go. We'll, we'll bring get her a little baby cowboy hat and one of those little like uh, Annie Oakley outfits. Yeah, that'll be cute. Wouldn't she that be cute? Really if she was in a cowgirl outfit. Yes. And we took her. But what I may bring when we do our um, Antiques Ghost Show, yes. we're going to do a live show where you can come and see us called Antiques Ghost Show, and we will invite you to bring your haunted objects. Is I have a, a beautiful um, uh, carved piece of koa wood. It looks like a man and a woman kind of blending together mm. that my grandmother brought back from Hawaii like at the turn of the last wow. century. So uh, right after, right after uh, maybe like the teens, the early 20s. And she and so my mom had it for years. And then one day she was like, well, while you're taking stuff, do you want the koa wood statue that's in the hall? And I said, the one grandma brought back from Hawaii? You love that. She's like, uh, the other day I thought, mm, I don't like its energy and I want it out of here. So that was my Scorpio mother. Luckily, she always liked my energy and never wanted me out Wait, of Get there. it out. But <laughs> um, I took it in and I love it. I've never had a problem with it. Oh, that's beautiful. Well, some things have moment. different places and different, you know, yeah. different feels. And who it they likes my be. living room. Yeah. I live in a pretty haunted place. Like my place isn't haunted because I wouldn't stand for that. Right. But I live in a very haunted complex where I see um, tall thin black shadow people all the time outside. I think there's a lot of shadow people out now. Has anybody noticed that? Feel free to comment. They're real tall and spindly, and you see them out of the corner of your eyes. And when I first had my near-death experience, I had just closed escrow in my house. I had just moved there a couple of days before, and I thought I was, I was seeing things. And then I called the doctor, and they're like, well, we do have you on some muscle relaxers. I'm like, that make you see shadow people? Yeah. But they said, could be. But then a while later, I was dating a guy who may or may not have been doing some drugs. And he would tell me, you know, when I stay up for three days at a time, I see these shadow people by your pool. I'm like, oh, God, they're real. <laughs> they are real. And I think maybe all the chaos going on in the world right now, everybody a yeah. little on edge. Things are getting opened up a little because I've, I've seen a lot more stuff mm -hmm. lately, too. I don't know what it is, but you let us know if you see stuff like that too. Oh, and I have a story. You want to yeah, hold uh, Ms. Bell for a second? I handed her to you. I have a story. So the last time we were here, 
uh, somebody put something up on Facebook and said that in the window behind us, they had seen a gray haired man, like 6'3 or 6'4, about 65 years old, looking in the window at us. And uh, that's exact the exact description of my friend Leonard, who passed on February 25th. Hmm. So I think Leonard was looking in on us. That's sweet. And the night that he passed, although I didn't know he had passed that night, uh, Patty and I were at a seance, and somebody kept saying, oh, this... Um, this old gray-haired, tall gray-haired gentleman wants to talk to somebody. Is that anybody's? We were all like, nope, because I didn't know that he had passed. I didn't even know that he was wow. in the hospital. So uh, it's nice that he was looking in on us last time. I love that yeah. story. Yeah, it is. And just like haunted objects don't have to be bad, spirits that come into your house, like she just said, yeah. aren't all bad by any means. I love that he's looking your at Your mother, me. your friends and things that go along the way. Yeah. They like to visit. Well, and like Patty said, that's the premise of living with the dead is that we want to encourage you to love the good spirits in your life. The way that I love that Leonard's looking after me. My friend Michael, who passed on Christmas last year, I know he looks out for me. Um, uh, flashy lights. <laughs> uh, my mom is always with me. Um, I love that these people that I love so much are looking out for me. Um, I love a haunted object if it has a good spirit in it. We love Miss Bell. She's my spirit niece. I love, love her. Life. I'm Aww. sure I say that every. I have to say that every time we go on, because her. if she had a doll baby, it would be this. Should I do my bell face? Yeah. Do the, there you go. They have the same eyes, the same skin, the same hair color. Bell has better hair though. I got like three hairs. And now we just might have to cut you some little bangs. Maybe. Oh, that look pretty uh, scary, wouldn't I? I don't think so. No. Well, I'm a bang girl, obviously. So yeah. no, you wouldn't. Okay. They make little fake bangs now. We could test it out. Yeah. They make little. Just bang pieces. Are they called fabangs? Fabangs. You know the way like all fake stuff in yeah. vegan cooking is like faking? Yeah. Oh, Are yeah. they fabangs? Fabangs. <laughs> I have some fake fabangs. What are you Patty's attempting to read I'm trying to read. I know I oh, can't read. similar to Abe Lincoln, Top Hat and Tux. That's pretty cool. What? Um, what? Abe, Abe Lincoln actually had seances in the White House. I recently did a seance for a movie that's coming out, a documentary about... Um, um, Abraham Lincoln and his wife Mary Todd Lincoln she was into the spiritualist movement um, and did several seances trying to contact a son they had lost and they were just 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 heartbroken with um, so I gathered the cast around my dining room table and we did a real Victorian seance and the director said besides that it was pretty amazing we didn't want to call in Abraham Lincoln or anything like that didn't want to confuse you know the guy playing Abraham Lincoln was here but we called in their deceased loved ones but she said it was the best bonding exercise she had ever done with a cast so wow if, if you're in theater or doing film have a seance together okay. it bonds you I love that story I've been a Lincoln fanatic since I was born I think we've talked about that here since literally the time I was born all I could think about was Lincoln and when other kids wanted to go to like Legoland and Santa's Village and and Disney World, all I could think about was going everywhere Lincoln had ever been. And my mom was so cool to take me everywhere. That and is people awesome. have often asked me if, like, I've been offered to do a one woman show about Mary Todd. Um, it's interesting my connection to him and how people follow me around and ask me about her. And that's weird now that you would bring that up, and that our and that our viewer would bring that up. Kinsman, I know. I was just reading what's here, and Lincoln's I see Lincoln's one of my sacred holy words. That's awesome. Yeah. It's too bad it's not live. Uh, <laughs> please save us. Please save us. Come back. Come back. Save us. us. We need you. We're in some serious, yeah. serious shit. Can you come save us? Yeah. We would love. Um, that. Anyway, hi Chelsea. I saw Chelsea came hey, on. Hey Chelsea. Chelsea Elizabeth is the reason yeah. we have Do Bell right here. Um, she's in Belgium, and she had she bought her somewhere, and Belle then had a not so positive spirit, and she tried to work with her. She tried, but Belle made her sick, made her hair fall out, made all sorts Aww. of things happen, and she has a little girl, so you don't want stuff like that around, especially the negative side when you have little kids because they're so susceptible. So she lovingly sent her to me. We immediately got out the really negative thing and discovered this beautiful little thing. I love that. Yeah. Bill makes us happy. I'm glad she's here. I'm sorry Chelsea had to let her go. Yeah. But it's nice that we're all friends. But yeah, we're all friends. And she's her other mother across the pond. Yeah. That's her nice. other mother across the pond. And I'm her only aunt. Ah, there she is. And her yes. only aunt. Yeah. Apparently <laughs> I look like her. Her twin aunt. And you have to adopt her <laughs> twin. Patty will never let go how much I, I look not. like the doll. So when we do um, the antique ghost show, mm -hmm. are we gonna bring? Uh, are we gonna bring Miss Bell? Of course we will. <gasps> I think she should have star. her own seat. I think she you know, should too. Instead of us holding her all the time, because she gets wiggly. She have does. That? She, she does. gets wiggly. If she wants uh, us to shift one of us to the other one, like if I'm holding her and then she wants Patty, she gets like a little kid. She starts to wiggle, and it's like you can't hold on to her, and then we have to shift her over. 
Yeah, she's we've, just like a child. We've had her like grabbing onto Sheena's arms because she yeah, really she loved She was holding Sheena. on to me tight, tight. And all of a sudden she started getting wiggly and I couldn't keep her up straight. That's when I have to give her to pet. <laughs> Chelsea says she's super happy. Yes, she is. And speaking of that, you guys, what's interesting, her eyes really do move. So you guys might see her eyes moving, you know, besides from us moving up on their own she, when she's even sitting by herself. Sure. But her face really can't move. It is 100-year-old porcelain. But... You can always tell the mood she's in. You don't have to be a psychic like us or, or gifted. Yeah. Everybody can see it's the energy. People can walk into the house and she'll be sitting there in my living room where she presides always. And, you know, 12 people can walk through and say, Belle's happy, Belle's happy, Belle's happy. The next day, 12 different people go, Belle's not happy, Belle's not happy. Just exactly seeing her mood of the day. Um, so it's amazing. Again, everything is energy. We're energy. There's nothing really solid here. You know, we learned that in seventh grade science. So energy moves. But this isn't who we are either. Right. I mean, the, the sack of organic stuff that we're in, that's not who we are. So this plastic isn't who Belle is and this flesh isn't who I am. We all are the essence inside of ourselves and that's what makes us us. So it doesn't matter if you're a spirit in a piano or you're yeah. a soul in a person it's the same thing. It's still the um, uh, the embodied version of what your spirit is. The only difference is, is that our organic sack is alive mm -hmm. and the piano isn't. Right. That, that we know of. Now we know. That we know, but I don't judge. Maybe the piano that's alive. Yeah, may maybe. Yeah. Well, might have said. Uh, Irma at the Magic Castle, right? She's a piano that's She's alive. She's a piano that's alive. Or alive, Absolutely. dead goes. If you haven't been to the Magic Castle in Hollywood, it's a must do in your life. Yes, it it's is. Wonderful. It's wonderful. It's a private club for magicians, but there's yeah. ways to sneak yourself I in. Get you. But there's a ghost playing the piano that you try to trick her and she could play anything from yeah. anywhere. Um, but Chelsea just wrote that you need braids and she's going to send you some little blue things so you oh, can have them So we can braids. match? Yeah. Okay. See, you'll never get out of it. Wait till I'll I dress you alike. Throw my free hairs out. Wait I... till I dress you alike. Oh my goodness, she's going to make a party <laughs> dress in a big girl size. Uh, we still want to get her a nice enough. Victoria. Do I have enough hair? Let's look. I oh, think you do. I'm off the camera. Sheena's off the camera. Come, Come back in. Come back, in. Come back, back in. Sheena. Come back. Yeah. That's not enough hair to do the pigtails? Of course Why you do. Why my hair so? Why don't I have more hair? I don't have, have more so hair much either. hair. You're like fabulous. I don't. This is fake. I mean, no, the hair is not fake. But I have to. Fl I wear it in a bun really tight all day long so it can look good for 12 minutes. By the end of this broadcast, <laughs> it'll go flat and stringy. Patty wears all these uh, uh, cool pictures on Facebook like, you know, throwback Thursday. Here I am with my hot bikini at the beach. And yeah, I'm like, well, then. Yeah, I always just look like this. <laughs> Many when I was decades 15, ago. When I was 35, now, I always just look like this. Ah. You know. We'll have to put some bikini pictures of Bella. But I look like the doll. You do look like the doll. See? Yeah. And you're both wearing white today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm wearing actually pink. Oh. It's pink. Uh, it's Mama pink. pink. Sorry, Mama Pink. Mm -hmm. It's the lighting. We have we have, we went with dark mood lighting. I hope that's okay. I hope you yeah. guys can see it. We're a little yellowy today. Yeah, it's eh, okay. It happens. Makes me look like I'm a little more tan. Yeah, it's summer. I like that. Ah. So we want to know about what objects do you have that are haunted that you might want to bring to Antique Go Show. And if you go to um, antiquesgoshow.com, right now it just forwards over to our wearelivingwiththedead.com page but you can still go there and get used to it so, so that soon there will be something exciting there. Is it Antique Ghost Show or Antique Spook Show? It's Antique Ghost Show, I believe. Okay. It's Antique Ghost Show. Okay, yeah. good. I mean, both work. Yeah. I, couldn't I think we talked about both. I think we talked about both. And I decided both. on Antique Ghost, ghost show. show. I like it. Antique Ghost right. Show has a ring to it. Yes. I like it. I like it too. Because um, I feel like it's more, um, sometimes when people say spook, they're like, oh, I'm spooked. Yeah, like, it, it, it sounds negative scary. connotation. Yeah. yeah, and I wanted it to be just what it is. It's ghosts. Yeah. I love ghosts. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I didn't want it to sound creepy because this isn't about creepy spirits. Although, if you bring us a creepy spirit, we'll we talk. are happy to talk about it. Yes, yes. When we do our live thing, which will be in the Los Angeles or Great or Orange yes. County area. Yes. And Probably we'll one take, of each. I picked out rooms in both places. And hopefully, we'll take it on the road soon and go to yeah. all sorts of places. We'll come to you. But we're going to start out here. So anybody in the Greater Los Angeles, Orange County. Um, follow our page, follow us individually, because yeah. we're going to pick a date really soon. Do we have to get Belle like, certified as a therapy ghost to take her on the plane? Oh, yeah. Perhaps. We should make her little fake papers. We should. We go on the plane, we should <laughs> tell the flight attendant <laughs> with a totally straight face. No, 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 we have papers. She's a therapy ghost. Yes. 
and, and just watch them all look like, okay, here's weirdos on the plane, and we're all freaking out. <laughs> and they're all freaking out. Um, so we would we, love to take it on the road, and um, I've picked out um, a great room in the in the Los Angeles area that Patty and I are going to look at tonight. We're going to look at dates. Yay. And I have found another uh, room I really like in Orange County, so yeah. we have to get Patty to look at that and see what she thinks. Uh-huh. And um, I would be happy to do one both places, and then maybe we could go out to like Riverside County or down to San Diego or up to Santa Barbara. We'll just keep moving out from the Los uh, Angeles uh, area and we'll make until it to we Vegas. get out more we'll make and more. it to Tucson. Then we'll make yeah, it. Yeah, we'll I like doing that. It. Belle's got her bags packed, I think. She's just getting all weird. Oh, yeah, again. she loves She's this like, idea. I yeah. like it. I'm the star. I'm a little tote bag for the bears. Canada. We need to come to Canada. We do need We'd to come to. to Canada. Yes. I'd love to go to Canada. I've, I've never been to Canada. Really? Uh-uh. Oh. Never. I haven't been there over 10 years. I'd love to go to Canada again. Uh, hi, Where hi. in Canada should we go? Where are you in Canada? Canadian friend. Shannon, where are you in Canada? It would be funny if we heard her talking yeah. back to yeah. us right now. I'm in Nova Scotia. Oh. Hi, Maya. Sorry I missed you the other day. We did a pet fundraiser. You really have to come do it with I us. I wanted to, but I didn't get an email about it this time. That, it was probably not that organized, okay. but they've got another date for it. Okay, where we'll we have donate, to put me on their list because I will come. And Yeah, they, where we donate readings and sessions I'd and 100% to. goes to Animal Rescue. I'd be happy to. And it's really sweet. Yeah. You do it every month? But, um, no, every few months. But okay. Maya came the other day, but I was just so slammed and she was slammed. So we just waved from afar. <laughs> oh, sorry, Maya. From Florida. Wenzel's in Florida. Hi, Wenzel. Hey. And Minnesota. I love this. All these states, I don't even know where most of them are. I kind of... You don't know where Minnesota geography. is? Well... Did you go to public school yeah, in Los Angeles? I went to public school in Los Angeles. Sorry. And I, I cut most of the classes. I'm just kidding. I went to public school in Orange County and on the East Coast, but... Still, I know where Minnesota yeah. is. No, honestly, I'm actually kind of a smart girl. But if you gave me, uh, <laughs> in most areas, because I, I, I don't look smart. I'm smarter you than I look. Because well, you look like Barbie? I, no, I don't oh. know. But if you put a map of the states, I don't know how many of them. I mean, I know the obvious ones, all the okay. West Coast if ones. If you put a East, map of the states, I can the tell name. you what every single state is. Really? So if anybody wants to send me a private message or send me an email to Sheena at IamRaisingYourVibration.com. And send me a picture of your state, and I will tell you what it is. We may have a challenge here, Sheena. I have to find it. Maybe I'll I put have... them up here. Somebody put up a, a, an outline of a state here, and I'll tell you what it is. I actually have. It's a foam United States. I bought it because I don't know the states. And this they, is the best they come ever. together in puzzle pieces, but they're like sponges. Oh. But one side has the state, the other side doesn't. So I may have to test you on that. Oh. Ah. Do you want to, do you want me to teach you about the states? I tonight? do. Well, maybe not tonight. Cause, okay. Yeah. But yes, I want you to Patty teach you about better the things state. to do than my uh, geography lesson. No, I love geography. I just never been very good at it. <laughs> when I go a place, it's like, where is that? And I'm looking really? at it. Yeah. I don't have a good sense of direction, actually. Um, if I can't see the Hollywood sign, I don't know where I am or how to get there. Oh, if I just okay. go to different parts of LA, I've always had that. My brother had it. And I actually read something not too long ago that said it may be a form of dyslexia. It might be. Yeah. And not because I, I spell well. It's not that I don't mess up words or letters. What about numbers? No, it's direction. It's okay. pure direction. Because my mom okay. had no sense of direction and she also was numerically dyslexic. Yeah. But she was fine with, with No, words. I am good with numbers. I am good with math. Mm. But even like... This I go out in a hotel room. If I come out of my hotel room and I'm walking to the elevator, I've done it 28 times. I always walk the wrong way. Oh, I just I just have to think, 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 think. My mom think, used to think, say think, that think. I developed a sense of direction out of necessity because otherwise she would have gotten us lost and we never would have found our house. So I became a navigator like as a very young child. But oh. also because of my Abraham Lincoln thing, back to Lincoln. Uh, it always comes back to aid. <laughs> um, I memorized all the states and all the state capitals. I hope I still know all of those. And I could do, I can't anymore, but as a, as a four, three, four-year-old, I could do all the presidents forwards and backwards. Really? Yep. Oh, my God. I probably can't, can't get back more than four. So, so why did Abraham Lincoln, because of him, you learned all the states? Because I loved him so much. And I thought it was such an important thing because he loved the country. So I loved the country. When I was seven, I had a Civil War bedroom. I, my mom said, what do you want? And I said, I want a Civil War bedroom. And she got me one. So somewhere that woman, this woman was a saint. Everybody say prayers for Lena Joe tonight. That woman 